Today we rely on concrete and steel to build our world, but these materials have become too expensive to transport, produce and maintain. Now, DARPA is looking to other methods that can be grown on demand, self-repair and adapt to changes in their environment. Called the Engineered Living Materials Program, the U.S. agency plans to combine the structural properties of traditional building materials with attributes of living systems to produce a new class of hybrid building materials. Through ELM, workers will be able to grow the materials they need on site from natural feedstocks, which would ultimately reduce energy and costs associated with traditional methods of production and transportation. And these new materials would also contain living elements allowing complete structures to self-repair and respond to other changes in the surrounding area. The vision of the ELM program is to grow materials on demand where they are needed, said ELM program manager Justin Gallivan. Imagine that instead of shipping finished materials, we can ship precursors and rapidly grow them on site using local resources. And, since the materials will be alive, they will be able to respond to changes in their environment and heal themselves in response to damage. Grown materials are not entirely new, but what is currently on the market greatly differs from the materials Gallivan envisions. For example, biologically sourced structural materials can already be grown into specified sizes and shapes from inexpensive feedstocks. There are also packing materials that come from fungal mycelium and building blocks made from bacteria and sand. However, these products are rendered inert during the manufacturing process, so they exhibit few of their components' original biological advantages. Scientists are making progress with three-dimensional printing of living tissues and organs, using scaffolding materials that sustain the long-term viability of the living cells. These cells are derived from existing natural tissues and are not engineered to perform synthetic functions. And current cell printing methods are too expensive to produce building materials at necessary scales. DARPA's ELM plans to use all the best features of these existing technologies and create hybrid materials composed of non-living scaffolds that give structure to and support the long-term viability of engineered living cells. The agency will produce platform technologies that are scalable and generalizable to facilitate a quick transition from a laboratory to the construction area. The long-term goal of this project is to eventually develop a way to engineer structural properties directly into the genome's biological system so that neither scaffolds or external development cues are needed for an organism to realize the desired shape and properties. However, DARPA notes this feat will only be accomplished if scientists are able to understand development pathways and how they guide the three-dimensional development of multicellular systems.